In this session, we're going to use the match case statement using Python. It has a feature like the switch case statement from other languages, but the match case statement has more features. We must install Python 3.10. This is the Alpha 6 version. You see Python 3.10.0a6. I click the Windows installer to get the executable file in my downloads folder. But the Python part was placed in my programs folder. Now, if I go to my command prompt and type Python, two hyphens, version, we still see Python 3.9.2. I have both versions because if I go to my Python folder, 310, and type CMD for the command prompt, we see the path location 310. Now when I type Python, two hyphens, and version, you will see Python 3.10.0a6, which is both versions that I have on the system. Now, if you want more information about Python 3.10, here's a website you can go to to see what's new in Python 3.10. We see new features, parenthesis context managers, better error messages in the parser, PEP 626 precise line numbers for debugging and other tools. But in this session, I will demo PEP 634, Structural Pattern Matching. The description shows structural pattern matching has been added in the form of a match statement and case statements of patterns with associated actions. And here is the syntax in the box. We see more features when I keep on scrolling in this website. Now, when I go to the console, there's something else I must do for Python. In PyCharm, in the IDE, I'm going to go to File, New Project. And you know how I said I had Python 3.9 and 3.10? For the base interpreter, I changed it to 3.10. 3.9 is here and 3.10 is there. And you click create when you come to your new project. There's one more thing. I went to file settings. Right now I'm at inspections, but if you're not at ins inspections, you can search for PEP. And there are two entries for PEP8. Uncheck both boxes. If you do not check the box for code and style violation and the naming convention violation in your editor, you will have those red lines like it's a syntax error, although there is not a syntax error. Your, pro your program will still execute although you have the red lines for a syntax error. But to avoid those lines, just uncheck these boxes. Now, let's write our code by starting with an input function. And the prompt would be enter card name. Then assign the value to car. Next is match car. The purpose of match is to take an expression, then compare the expression value. Car is the variable name that will receive a value. We are going to evaluate car in the match statement. Next is to compare car with the pattern by writing case, double quotes or single quotes, Audi. And let's write the colon because the colon, if we don't add it, it will be a problem. This is one of the patterns that will be compared with an action of print 
your car is an Audi. If the value is Audi, then the print statement will take action by displaying your car is an Audi in the console. The next pattern is case BMW. Print statement, your car is a BMW. Let's write one more pattern. Case Cadillac. Print statement, will it be your car is a Cadillac. The variable car will be compared to each pattern from top all the way to the bottom until a match is confirmed. If a match is not confirmed, then we can take two approaches. We can write case with the wild card, which is an underscore or a value like unknown. Both approaches is a catch all statement that would catch any value that's not in the case value pattern. So if it's not in the case value pattern, Audi, BMW, or Cadillac, then it would jump down to this catch all statement. Let's look at both uh, parts, the wild card and the unknown, but let's start with the unknown. Print, the action is your curly braces, curly brackets, and we're gonna pass in unknown. Your unknown car <laughs> is unknown. Did you notice how automatically an F was placed in front of the quotes? That's how we format the string. Let's run. Enter car name, Audi. The console returned, your car is an Audi. Run again. This time I'm gonna enter BMW. The console shows your car is a BMW. How about Cadillac? The console shows your car is a Cadillac. For the catch all statement, unknown command, let's enter tempo. The console shows your tempo car is unknown. I like the unknown command. Down for the wild card underscore, change unknown to an underscore. Then update the print statement to your Value is not an Audi, BMW, or Cadillac. And I'm going to remove the F and then run again. Enter card name. How about Camry? Bingo. Your value is not an Audi, BMW, or Cadillac. That's it for the new match case statement in Python using the unknown command and the wildcard. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next session.